And now, boxing fans, we take you back to February of 1994. This was a dynamite junior welterweight fight. Two Albuquerque fighters facing each other in their pro debut, Rudy Chavez and Fernie Cayetos, here on the Eight Count Boxing Hour. Okay, we're with Rudy Chavez. He's making his pro debut tomorrow night. What do you think, Rudy? Ready to go? Oh, I'm ready. Definitely. You had a tremendous performance in the uh, Tough Man. And uh, do you think that's a good launching pad for your pro career? Um, hopefully, yeah. I didn't even know about the Tough Man until a day, until a day prior. So that came, that came all of a sudden. But I've been training hard, hard for two months straight but uh -huh. since then. And uh, I'm ready. There's what do you, what do you know about your opponent, Bernie Cayeros? Um, I know he's a, uh, a kickboxer, world-class kickboxer. Uh, I've seen some of his tapes. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell what kind of punch he throws. You know, I can't take it for granted or anything. So. Okay. What kind of style? What kind of style can we expect to see from you, Rudy? Um, real calm, real collective. I'm going to wait to the next mistake, and I'm just going to capitalize. That's, I'm, I'm going to test my strength right from the beginning, and I'm going to blast it. Uh -huh. Who are some of the pro fighters that you've uh, picked up on, would you say, style-wise? Um, Roberto Duran, Julio Cesar, just uh, all these Latin, Latin, Latin fighters. Alexis Arguello. Sounds, sounds like a formula for body punching. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> my favorite punch, liver punch. I'm gonna look for that too. You better be in shape. That's all I gotta say. Be in shape. Okay, Rudy. Is there uh, any predictions on your fight tomorrow? Um, no predictions. Just, just go out and watch. And uh, what do you want to say to the people of Albuquerque? Um, come out. Let's uh, let's build the tingly. Let's, let's show that. Let's show America that we can. That we have boxing fans that support local boxers, like Danny, including myself. Uh, that, that you know that they can come out and support, support us. That's all, that's all we want. Okay. Well, thanks for your time, Rudy. Thank you, Rudy Chavez. Rudy Chavez, 139, 140 Bernardo Cayeros, 142. 142. Fernando Cayeros, 142. Right here, brother. 41. 140 plus. Yeah, we're 16 year old. Bernie Cayeros is facing Rudy Chavez tomorrow night. And Bernie, what do you know about your opponent? Well, I know that he won the tough man contest. Uh, that's all I know about him. He's had a pretty excellent 17 amateur fights. And this will be his pro debut. And uh, that's all I know What do you got in store for him? Well, kickboxing, that I do, is a lot different from boxing. My stance has to change, everything else. So this is going to be something new for me. Um, I really ha I've only had a couple of weeks, so I'm just going to try to go on the inside and work the body. That's what I'm going to go for. I'm try to crush his reach and uh, go for uh, Okay, uh, do you have a, a nickname? Yeah, my name's Cool. Cool, Bernie Cool Kaido. That's right. Is that your box, your style, or, or, or your personality, or what? Yeah, cool. There you yeah, go. Yeah. <laughs> I, I well, we'll have to Looks like they're expecting a big crowd tomorrow night. Have you fought in front of big crowds before? Yeah, well, yes, I have. You, you hold titles in, in the big box, don't you? I hold an international Muay Thai. It's a Thai boxing title. Uh, not kickboxing or boxing. Okay, well, we'll let you go here. You got to get licensed, and we wish you the best of luck tomorrow night. Thank you. All right, Bernie. Thank you. Be ready, Bernie.
ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Tinkley Coliseum. Welcome to the road to the World Championship. Kid Dynamite, Enterprise, promoter of Clinton Cero, presents professional boxing. Tonight's event sanctioned by the New Mexico Athletic Commission. Dan Gallup, Chairman, in attendance tonight. Leo Martinez, Commissioner, in attendance. Commissioner Jim Bocio, Commissioner Lewis Burt, Max Cerveza, Event Coordinator, and Dave Stewart, Administrator. Special thank you to our corporate sponsors tonight, Jones Center Cable and Joe Maloon and the Maloon Company. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to see some luck? Our first event, four round duration. These are junior welterweights. Introducing first, in the red corner, from Albuquerque, New Mexico. After an outstanding amateur career, this is his professional debut. He weighs in at an even 139 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the professional ranks of boxing, Rudy Chavez. In the blue corner, also from Albuquerque, New Mexico, a world kickboxing champion, making his professional boxing debut here tonight, weighing in at an even 142 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Fernando Cool Gallardo. The judges, Al Bugeri, Dan Cicero, and Vicki Eulenbrock. Timekeepers, Terry McDowell and Sandy Pino. Our referee, Al Martinez. Full out of boxing. Okay, boxing fans, this one should be a great battle. We've got two bangers here. Fernie Cool Cayeros, the former kickboxing champion. He's there in the blue trunks with his back to you, and his opponent, the New Mexico Tough Man champion, Rudy Chavez, who trains at the Hideout Boxing Club under the tutelage of Danny Romero. He's a stable mate of the world champion, Danny Kid Dynamite Romero. And uh, referee Al Martinez points to the bell. We're underway. Round one, we're scheduled for four. Dan Cisneros bringing you the action of the Duke City, the boxing action of the Duke City. And we've got a Duke City slugfest here with two Albuquerque fighters facing each other in their pro debuts. Bernie Cayeros in the blue trunks and Rudy Chavez in the black trunks. Just underway now, round one, a big crowd here at Tingley Coliseum. Of course, this fight on the undercard of Danny Romero and Elio Dominguez. Rudy Chavez, who you're looking at there in the blue trunks, went through the New Mexico Tough Man contest like a hot knife through butter. He just ripped everybody that faced him scoring knockouts in every bout all the way through to the championship. And he really uh, caught the eye of a lot of boxing uh, people. And this is his first fight as a professional. He is trained by Danny Romero Sr. and his father, Luis Chavez. And now you see Rudy on the attack. He has his man in the corner. Fernie Cayeros needs to fight his way off the corner. There's a good uppercut, another uppercut, another uppercut. Four in a row now, five in a row. Fernie Cayeros with that uppercut, and Fernie Cayeros in the blue trunks. He's fighting out of the American Kempo Karate Academy here in Albuquerque, trained by Bill Packer, a tremendous kickboxing champion. And there's a big right hand from Cayeros again. So Fernie Cayeros stepping up from the world of kickboxing into the world of boxing as a professional here, and he's do done pretty well so far. Rudy Chavez had him backed into the corner, and Fernie did a good job there of fighting his way out, scoring some nice uppercuts and an overhand right. Bernie Cayetos, who told us that it would be a little bit of uh, uh, something to concentrate on, making that switch from kickboxer to boxer. You see it so often. Sometimes it doesn't work too well, but so far, Bernie Cayetos looks like he's pretty stable here as a boxer. Now you see Rudy Chavez doing some good work with that left hand. Rudy Chavez is a wicked body puncher. Oh, does he have a nice left hand to the body? And he used that weapon in the tough man to really rip his opponents in half. He just chopped guys in half. Uh, body shots putting people down. You don't see that too often, but 
Rudy Chavez, a good body puncher. There's a nice right hand now from Cayeros. So this one is going to be a war, just like I said in the opener. You met the two young men, both nice young men. You hate to see one of them lose, but this is the professional world of boxing, and these guys in their first professional fight, Bernie Cayeros and Rudy Chavez. Now there's a nice uppercut by Rudy. Rudy Chavez, a highly skilled boxer. You'll see that he's well polished. Uh, grew up in the boxing world, although you see Cayeros now going to work. And, and the good thing for Fernie Cayeros is he doesn't look like he's too shy to let his hands go. Sometimes these guys freeze up in their pro debut in front of this big crowd, but looks like Fernie Cayeros is enjoying himself in there. But Rudy Chavez, as you can see, is the aggressor. He's the one that, oh, there's a big right hand from Cayeros again. Boy, Rudy Chavez was tracking him down, pushes him back into the corner. Cayeros comes with the overhand right to end round one. So a good action-packed opening round. Both men landing good shots in that one. And if, if this is any indication, we're in for a good fight here. It's only scheduled for four. As we look into the corner now of Rudy Chavez, that's Danny Romero with his back to you, and uh, Luis Chavez and Sergio Chavez working the corner there. You see uh, Luis with the end swell working on the eye of Rudy. Danny Romero giving the instructions to young Rudy Chavez. Rudy would probably be the favorite in this fight just by the fact that he is the one who has spent his uh, years in amateur boxing, whereas Fernie Cayeros uh, doing a lot of work kickboxing, and that is a big transition. A lot of people don't realize the difference in balance, stance, and the way your opponent comes at you is just totally different from kickboxing. And I think a lot of kickboxers find out the hard way that it's very different. But so far, a pretty good opening round for Fernie Cayeros. I think... Uh, it was a pretty close round. Both men doing damage. Cayeros with the big bombs, but uh, Chavez uh, kind of controlling the more of the time of the, ba of the round. So uh, a good opening round here. We're underway now with round two coming to you from Tingley Coliseum. And right away, the two heat up with an exchange. You can see Fernie Cayeros initiated the action there and Rudy Chavez answering back. Again, good quick hands from Fernie Cayeros in the blue trunks. He stuck a quick jab out there. Ooh, there's a mean left hand by Rudy Chavez. Good crowd here tonight at Tingley Coliseum. About 5,000 fans, of course, here to see Kid Dynamite, Danny Romero. Oh, there's a straight right hand from Cayeros again, and he's catching Rudy Chavez. I think Rudy's a little surprised by the hand speed of this Fernie Cayeros. Fernie, cool Cayeros. There's another right hand. Well, he brings that right hand quick, and out of nowhere, Rudy just kind of spins him off and walks away here to reset. And now you see Rudy Chavez moving in again. Rudy Chavez, the aggressor in this one. Bernie Cayeros acting as the counterpuncher. There you see Rudy Chavez trying the right hand. He's just kind of throwing the range finders. But look at Cayeros. He's letting loose here with some bombs. And Bernie, ooh, just misses with that left hand. Again, Rudy runs into a shot, but answers back, and Cayeros just kind of backs up and moves Rudy into position. Cayeros apparently enjoys fighting off the ropes. Again, the left hand lands from Cayeros. There's a left hand from Rudy now, and he may have Cayeros hurt here. He has him in the corner, and there was a body shot that landed in there, and you can see Fernie Cayeros just kind of freeze up. Again, Rudy Chavez on the attack, knocks Cayeros into the ropes now, and Fernie Cayeros with his hands up, frozen on the ropes. He better get out of there. Rudy Chavez now opens up on him. Whoa, and an uppercut by Rudy Chavez. Cayeto spins out, but he's still hurt from that barrage. And look at him back in the other corner now. Rudy Chavez will not let off the gas here, continuing to attack. He wants to put the man away. There was the body shot. But look at Fernie Cayeto. Give him credit. He fights back off the ropes. Fernie Cayeto a rugged kickboxer, and you can see why. He's taking a ton of punishment here from Chavez, who just opens up and lets it fly. Oh, man, look at that uppercut by Chavez. Landed flush on the chin of Cayeros, but <laughs> Fernie Cayeros with a rock-solid chin here takes it and backs away again. Now he's in the other corner. He's been in about every corner, but look at him jump out. <laughs> he jumps out at Rudy Chavez now. Rudy tried to put him away there, but he, Rudy smartly kind of backed off there. He didn't want to burn himself out. And now Fernie Cayeros kind of taking a, a, a break here, a breather, and trying to reload. There's a left hand from Chavez again. Rudy Chavez in total command of this round so far. Again, the body shot from Rudy Chavez of Albuquerque. And the right hand right at the bell. And you know Fernie Cayeros is glad to hear that bell. 
a big round for Rudy Chavez, who just knocked Cayeros from, from corner to corner and uh, tried to put him away, but give Bernie Cayeros credit. He hung in there and he survived the round. But a big round of scoring wise for Rudy Chavez. And he's, he's probably pretty nervous too in front of this big crowd here, his first fight as a professional, although he has experience uh, fighting in the tough man, but there wasn't nearly this many people for that, uh, that event. But still, at least Rudy Chavez does have some experience fighting here in Tingley Coliseum, that tough man competition taking place here in uh, Tingley Coliseum. And now you're looking into the corner of Fernie Cayeros, that's Bill Packer uh, working as trainer for Fernie. Of course, Bill Packer, the man who runs the American Kempo Karate Academies here in Albuquerque. So a pretty close opening round, a big round two for Rudy Chavez. And now Fernie Cayetos has to dig his way out here as he really got pummeled there in that second round. We go to round three now. Dan Cisneros at ringside. You're watching the eight count boxing hour here on Community Cable Channel 27, bringing you the boxing action of the Duke City. Again, former amateur star Rudy Chavez in the black trunks and former kickboxing champion Fernie Cool Cayeros in the blue trunks. We're, we're halfway through this one, round three, scheduled for four. First two rounds, good action. Rudy Chavez opening up there in that second round. And right now you see Rudy again as the aggressor and Cayeros in that familiar position back against the ropes. Both guys were pretty confident at the weigh-in. Cayeros a pound over. Uh, he was ordered to lose that, at least one, one pound according to the contract, and they made him stick by it. And now you see Cayeros coming out with some big shots here. Rudy Chavez just barely slipping away from those. Bernie Cayeros is a hard puncher. He's renowned as a hard puncher, heavy-handed. Oh, there's a nice uppercut. Snaps the head back of Rudy Chavez. And now Bernie Cayeros goes to work on him. Rudy in retreat here backs into the ropes and tries to use that jab to kind of push uh, Cayeros away. And now Rudy Chavez back out to the center of the ring. Good action from both of these fighters. And now you see Rudy Chavez with a good body shot there. He tries the jab right hand to the body. Chavez uh, punching in combinations. And there you see him again with a little uppercut on the inside here. Good inside fighting and Rudy pushes his opponent away. The referee is Al Martinez. Again, the right hand from Rudy Chavez lands. And Fernie Cayeros, very sturdy, takes those shots. Of course, they don't help him in the scoring. It doesn't help you in the scoring to take those shots, but it sure keeps you from getting knocked out, I guess. Rudy Chavez and Fernie Cayeros putting on a show here to open things in Tingley Coliseum. Oh, Cayeros just grazing Chavez with that right hand. Again, Rudy Chavez with some nice body shots. As Cayeros just tries to, to, to hold his man up, to tie him up. And both men kind of leaning, and there's some good shots. Again, a nice combination from Rudy Chavez here, having a good third round, following that big second round. Ooh, and there's a left hook kind of sneaking in, but the uppercut from Chavez answers right back, and Cayeros backs out. Again, Chavez with a jab right hand jumps in. He has Cayeros in the corner again. This is where he went to work in him la on him last round. And you see Rudy Chavez again hammering with uppercuts at the bell. So another good round for Rudy Chavez. A close first round, maybe a slight edge for uh, Cayeros, and then a big second round for Chavez in that third round. Maybe a slight edge for Rudy Chavez, so we have him slightly ahead here on the eight count boxing hour with one round to go. And this last one should be a doozy. Both of these guys in their first fight as a pro professional in front of their home crowd. What a way to open up in front of about 5,000 fans. Again, you're looking into the corner of Rudy Chavez. That's Danny Romero Sr., Luis Chavez, and Sergio Chavez working on him. The other corner, Bill Packer, working on his man, Fernie Cool Cayeros. Round four underway now. The final round. A lot at stake here for these two professional fighters in their first pro fight.
both men have landed some big shots. But uh, Rudy Chavez, the man that had Cayetos really hurt in that second round, had him about ready to go, but give Cayetos credit. He's, he's in good shape for this one. And, you know, conditioning is the key to staying up when you're under attack here. Again, uh, Cayetos back in the corner, that familiar place where he's been most of this fight. He needs to get out there and be a little more aggressive. It's not going to help him with the judges. And now he kind of steps forward, and you can see Rudy Chavez trying to use a little foot movement here side to side. And an overhand right launched by Cayetos just grazed him, but it's the uppercut that damages Chavez. And now a combination of shots, and look at Ferdy Cayetos. Cayetos did some good scoring there in that combination. And now Rudy Chavez backs out to the center of the ring again. Ferdy Cayetos, very dangerous. Oh, man, and there's a big right hand that has Chavez hurt. Rudy Chavez is wobbling all over the ring. Another right hand. Rudy's trying to hang on here, and Cayetos just jumps on him. Again, Rudy Chavez just trying to smother those punches, but he's taking some bombs right here. He's about ready to go. Look at Cayetos just loads up with every shot here. In the fourth and final round, but look at Chavez answer back with a right hand. Bravely comes back with a right hand. Oh, man, another solid right hand from Cayetos. And Rudy Chavez barely hanging on here. He is really hurt. So things were cruising along, and all of a sudden, heavy-handed Fernie Cayetos with the bomb changes everything here. And Fernie Cayetos may be a little bit arm-weary. He really shot everything he had at his man here, trying to put him away. It's a, cl it's a pretty close fight, and I'm sure that Fernie would have liked to get Rudy out of here and not leave things to the judges. But it looks like uh, Fernie Cayetos may have run out of gas here. And Rudy Chavez now, again, putting the pressure on. Boy, give Cayetos credit there. He gave it one last big charge. And now Rudy Chavez going to work, lands a right hand in a combination now. Kind of staggers uh, uh, Cayetos back. I think he's more tired than hurt right now. He really let loose, and he didn't really pace himself. And now Rudy Chavez, who just survived, now... Look at Rudy Chavez come back with some shots here. Oh, man, and Cayetos lands a right hand, a, a lead right. Flush, but give Chavez credit. He took that shot. That ends the fight, and we're going to go to the judges on this one. I've got this fight, uh, the first round for Cayetos close. Second round for Chavez big. Third round for Chavez close, and the fourth round for Ch uh, Cayetos big. So I've got this one a draw, but we'll see what the, the official judges uh, had on this one. Of course. And right now, everybody's scrambling. You see the referee, Al Martinez, collecting the scorecards of the three judges. He'll take it over to the commission table, and they'll add things up. And uh, boy, this is going to be a toughie. Good action throughout, a good close fight. Both men were hurt. Both men landing big shots. Um, Rudy Chavez with the good aggression. Bernie Cayetos, the nice counter punching, and uh, boy, this is going to be a toughie. We're going to have to add this one up. This may take a while, so sit back and relax. Going to come up with a decision for you on this fight. Both of these fighters had big rounds. Uh, round two was a big round for Rudy Chavez, who had Cayetos looking like he was just about ready to go, but uh, Cayetos hung on there. And then uh, we had two pretty close rounds, maybe Chavez edging out one and Cayetos the other and then of course that fourth and final round um, Rudy Chavez just hanging on as Cayetos hurt him badly and just jumped on him for the finisher but but Rudy Chavez smartly boxed his way to uh, to survive there you see both men now showing good sportsmanship in the center of the ring and both of both men anxiously pacing around the ring wondering who won this one it was close it looks like neither man is too confident on the decision and there you see Henry Tafoya collecting the scorecards of the uh, New Mexico State Athletic Commission. So a good action fight. That's about all I can say. And right now, let's go up to the ring announcer, KDEF's own Henry Tafoya, for the winner on this one.
So that was a close fight. One judge had it for Chavez by one point, one judge for Cayeros by one point, and the other judge had it even, so the three judges can't come to a decision. This fight is a draw.